horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think she was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Uh, Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Ryan, we should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. For a cluster of threatening branches, you sure showed him what's what. I just wanted to make sure nothing was coming after us. Well, you certainly made sure to waste some ammo. Look, you can't hit shit with those shells unless yeah. you're right up in well, the grill. Maybe I just wanted to scare them off. So what? We're thinking it was just the wind or something? Cause I'm still a little freaked out, you know. Yeah, the wind. Let's go with that. Great. Going with it. All right, so, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Okay? Okay. You were saying Shall we Lodge? Look? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? Fuck those guys. Pretty sure they're off having the time of their life. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. All right, let's go.
Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what, sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look, a metaphor in the narrative. I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off, like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. 
I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know has their scent or something. What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks, I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are. So they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know... How do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that... Uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. No, fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? I can't believe you're being such an asshole. Right back at you, Buster. Seriously? Is this worth fighting for? No, not with your argument. Oh, okay, so now you just want to win the fight. Not cool, man. Not cool. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. 